Welcome back to another video. <clears throat> if I sound sick throughout this video, it's because I am sick. Like yesterday, I was like literally dying. I'm dramatic, but I was literally dying. So the other day, I was doing my curly hair routine, and right now, my curly hair routine consists of like only Diva Girl products. And honestly, those products are really, really expensive. They're amazing, but they're really expensive. And it got me to thinking about how when I first started my hair journey, I journal. <laughs> when I first started my hair journey, I used like really cheap products such as OGX and really, really natural products. And and I don't know why I stopped doing that. I guess I just started to receive these products and I was like, oh, these are really good. I'm going to use these. And I forgot about the cheap ones that I used to use that were also really, really good. So today's video is going to be a bomb ass curly hair routine on a budget because honestly, there has been a lot of times in my life where I could not afford good curly hair products. So it was really hard to find products that actually worked for my hair. So if you're going through that right now, don't worry. I got you with this video. So I have not seen a video like this on YouTube. So hopefully I'm the first one, maybe probably. Probably not, but I haven't looked it up on YouTube. But anyways, I hope this video really helps you guys out. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And let's get started. What is that? So I always love to start off doing my curly hair with a hair mask. So for the sake of the video being curly hair on a budget, I'm going to be using castor oil and raw honey. And both these products are really, really good for your hair. The honey adds shine to your hair and castor oil is a really good growth agent. So I'm mixing that together in a cup and I also warmed it up. And I added some water to it just because when I apply it, it's going to be much easier since I added the water. And I don't want my hair getting all sticky because of the honey. But my mistake was that I didn't add the water before I put the oil. So make sure you do that and also don't add so much at one time but now I'm just gonna be applying that to the bottom section of my hair I like to part my hair before I do this because I just want to get every section as good as I can so I'm just applying that to the bottom section as you can see I'm putting it on all of my hair and then as I go I'm adding more and then sectioning my hair off just to make sure that I get every single part and after that it should be really easy to detangle your hair and add this product so as you can see, my hair looks really, really moisturized. So I'm just adding as much as that product as I want to. And if I need to make more, then I will. But the amount that I have was good enough. And I'm also making sure to get my ends because that is where I have the most split ends and damage and also in the back. And I'm just making sure to really detangle my hair. And I have some fallout, but that's normal because curly hair tends to get so tangled and hair doesn't fall out as much as straight hair would. So when we go to detangle and brush our hair, like all the fallout comes out. So that's really, really normal. But yeah, no, I'm just me doing that to the rest of my head. So now that I finished putting on the hair mask, my hair looks really moisturized and detangled and now I'm just going to be putting it up into a bun and I like to put a little plastic bag over my head just because it traps the heat in and the heat will help to activate the products and make them really work. I do have to wait for a long time to wash my hair I like to take this time and put on a face mask just because if I'm gonna nourish my hair I might as well nourish my skin also and in the shower to cold wash I use my tea tree tingle by Trader Joe's conditioner I love this because it's very pepperminty and to condition my hair I use my Maui moisture bamboo fibers conditioner and then I add an extra deep conditioner this is the Aussie moist three minute miracle and then to tie up my hair, I used a t-shirt. It's a really great alternative if you don't have a microfiber towel because those can get expensive. But yeah, so now I'm going to be taking my first product. This is a leave-in, and I'm going to be applying that to my hair. This is a really, really thick product, so I'm taking just about that much. And I'm just going to be applying that all over my hair, mostly at the bottom. This is probably my favorite drugstore product just because it really gets the job done. It adds so much moisture to my hair, and it also smells really, really, really good. So Now I'm just going to do that to the other side, splitting my hair just so I can get every single part, adding it to the bottom and wherever else needs moisture. 
Now I'm taking the conditioner that I used in the shower and if you don't want to spend extra money on a leave-in, using the conditioner that you use in the shower is a really great alternative. I'm not taking that much just because I don't want my hair to be really weighed down because I already applied a leave-in to my hair but this is a great way to add extra moisture. So as you can see, I'm just taking a little bit and applying that to the places where I need it the most. And now I'm going to be taking some castor oil and I use that in my deep conditioner but I also like to use it on my edges and all over my hair. I don't take that much though just because my hair gets really weighed weighed down easily so I'm just taking a little bit of that and applying it to the bottom and I feel like it's important to always add an oil to your hair just to keep in the moisture and now I'm just scrunching my hair you know getting all those curls ready and formulated yep that is not the word and I know I said before in a previous video that finger coiling is not good but I like to do it to some parts of my hair that do not curl because if they dry and most of my head is curly and then some are just not it's gonna look really weird so I just like to finger coil some parts not my whole head or as much as I used to And this is how my hair looked after I applied all of the products. And these are the final results. My hair does not feel weighed down at all. My curls are bouncy and they feel really, really soft. So this proves that drugstore products can be just as good as high-end products. Alright, so you've reached the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you're not already. I really, really do hope this video helped you guys out. I'm really impressed with my results. Um, I should start going back to my true origins of using cheaper products. If you guys would like a favorite curly hair products video or anything like that, comment down below. Please comment a lot of suggestions because summer is coming up. I end school next week and I really need to start filming more and posting more. So comment down any suggestions that you have below. It really, really, really helps me out. And also make sure to follow me on all my social media. They will all be down below as well as well as a new channel i may have started i hope you guys have a great sunday and i'll see you guys very soon with a new video peace i love you bye